So uh, this is the, I believe this is the last one, number five on the quiz that I think a few people wanted me to go over. So the question says, for the following E2 reaction, so that's a helpful hint. Remember, E2, that's a one-step reaction, okay? So propose a structure for the major product and mechanism for the minor product in the reaction. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just propose that structure for the major product. Probably you all know what it is. The mechanism seems to be harder on this one for everybody. The major product, of course, this is the exocyclic double bond. That's going to be the minor product because it's only one, two, di substitute. You can get uh, a more substituted product from this. So remember, an E2 reaction takes an alkyl halide, gives you an alkene out of it. So if you think you put the double bond there or there, it would be the same product. So the major product, of course, is going to be if you want to keep the middle. Like that. Okay. So and if you drew the double bond up here, like I think a couple of you did, that would be fine too. Okay, it's the same problem. That's the major problem. Okay, so now it reminds us that it's an E2 reaction, and it wants us now to identify what the mechanism for the minor product is. Okay? So can I erase the major product? Everybody got that now, right? I can erase that part. Okay. So I'm just going to go with this, and I'm going to draw out this methyl group. In fact, I'm not going to draw the C, but I'm going to draw the H's there. To remind us, and I'll remind us that there are three H's. Eventually, you'll only you'll start just drawing one H. So now, remember, we reacted that with potassium hydroxide and ethanol. Okay. So the potassium hydroxide is going to be the base for this reaction, okay? Remember in E2, that's an elimination reaction, so you need a base. But the potassium, that's just a spectator ion. It doesn't do anything. So all your spectator ions, just like always, like we've said a number of times, you just don't even put those in the reaction anymore. You just get rid of them, okay? This is a mechanism. You're just showing what bonds are being formed and what bonds are being broken. So anyways, what's going to happen, you start your arrows always at your lone pairs or your pi bonds. You don't have pi bonds here, so lone pairs are going to start, okay? So where are we going to start from there? It's going to deprotonate the hydrogen, and these electrons are going to make the double bond there, because that's the double bond there. And that's going to kick off that chloride, okay? And Ta-da! That's the step. That's it. E2. Okay. So it's just a one-step uh, mechanism, but you, of course, have to actually draw structures that exist. You have to draw arrows that go to the right way, not the wrong way. Okay? And you've got to, um, sorry, uh, draw all the arrows in the right steps. Okay? So for these, this one, there's actually more arrows than what we like. You know, we've been seeing a number of reactions with two arrows. This one's an elimination. It's got the three arrows. So you just got to recognize that, OK? So for those of us who didn't get that mechanism, write it down. I expect you to be able to do it next time we see it. OK, any questions on that one? OK, wonderful.